Hello, my name is Jeff Terry. I am a physics professor at the Illinois Institute of Technology, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use our XAPS NEO software to analyze X ray absorption fine structure data. Uh, XAPS is a uh, technique that has a lot of utility. It's good for measuring uh, crystals, liquids, gases, and a variety of other materials, uh, which makes it unique from a lot of the other surface and characterization tools. To use our software to analyze uh, XAPS data, the first thing uh, that we should have you do is download the Anaconda environment. We find it's very easy to make things work in Anaconda. So if you go to anaconda.com, you can click getting started and it will take you to download Anaconda installers and you can get an installer for Windows, Mac, or Linux. It takes a little bit of time to install Anaconda, so I'm not going to do that. I've already got Anaconda installed on my machine, but I recommend you use the graphical installer to do the installation. You can pause the video while you install it. So the next step then is to go to our XApps Neo repository. I can copy that link, paste it in there. We go to the repository and our instructions for installing XApps Neo are actually here. Now again, we use the Anaconda environment. So the first thing I need to do to get to the Anaconda environment is to launch a terminal window. This process will be different on Mac, Linux, and Windows, but the software runs under all of them. So now I have a terminal window, and I'm going to create an environment that I can use for all of my XAPS analysis. So I'm going to type conda create two dashes, and then I'm going to give it the name uh, that I, I want which in this case we'll call this XAF school. And for this, in this environment, we needed to have Python 3.7, NumPy, Matplotlib, and PyQt. This will take a little bit of time, and it always helps if I spell it right in the first place. as it has to download packages and install packages. It figures out what is necessary to make all these environments work. figures out all the de all the dependencies and now it's done and we can go conda activate xf school conda activate xf school and it changed from base to xf school now within xf school we need to install Larch. Larch is a package uh, created by Matt Newville, and our software utilizes it. So to do that, you need to go conda install negative YC GSE cars and X-ray Larch. Now it's going to figure out what needs. Uh, to be done to install Larch. Again, this takes a little bit of time, but you only have to do this the one time. All right, so now it's downloading all the uh, packages and extensions that it needs to run Larch. And now that is done. Now we have to add our XAPS Neo on top of this. So to do that, because we're under active uh, development here, you basically have to clone the repository. So you type git clone https colon slash slash github.com 
slash allow mu loon slash xapps dash neo dash public dot get and now it has downloaded that into the repository and onto a, a um, folder on your machine and it's in xapps neo public and we can see xapps neo public was created right there so I have to cd xapps neo public and then I type pip install dot All right, so it has successfully installed everything. We could do a uh, simple test, um, but we're going to skip that. The important thing is we want to use the GUI. So we'll go CD GUI, and that'll change to the GUI directory. We can type LS and see that there are things populating that directory. And then to run it, we go Python XAFS underscore gui dot py and hit return the first time you run it it takes a little bit of time not entirely sure why it takes so long the first time for it to come up but the GUI pops up and you see that you get this warning, this graphical user interface is still under active development. Please contact us using GitHub for any issues. I can hit OK. And now we have the GUI running. And uh, that's where we'll stop here and we'll take you through how to use this in the next video in the set.